Hey everyone, today we have this iconic silver 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat. This one is in the sport package and has a few other nice upgrades. Let's check it out together. Underneath the hood is the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 engine that puts out lots of torque, is amazing on fuel thanks to the 10 speed automatic transmission, silky smooth shifts. Vehicle has fully automatic LED headlights, including auto high beams. Also has LED fog lights to complement those. You see the painted front bumper thanks to the sport package, which also has tow hooks in it. Vehicle has a forward collision system with pedestrian detection so if somebody steps out in front of you last minute it's going to put on the brakes for you that saves lives and saves some money on insurance this also has some nice accessories with that front aero skin deflector the whole front end has been protected with 3m pr protection as well that film is great for stopping gravel you've got 18 inch high gloss black aluminum alloy wheels you've got nice uh, no drill kickback mud flaps on there and you can see the f-150 lariat badging off the side these mirrors are a color matched power heated folding mirror with memory function and they have a blind spot system in them so that lights up when someone's in your blind spot to get in or out of this truck you can just put your entry code in here and unlock it or you can put your hand inside the door handle it'll sense the heat from your hands and unlock press this button to lock it or you can use this key fob with unlock lock remote start power tailgate and alarm or download the ford pass app and do that for free anywhere in the world thank you ford tinted windows off the back look great platform running boards help you get in and out and when we open this up you get your first look at this gorgeous lariat sport interior i love the accent stitching and the two-tone that's been done has an upgraded Bang & Olsen stereo system with subwoofer. These seats back here are nice and easy to wipe down. Love the chocolate uh, striping that's been done in there. In the back, you do have 12 volt power supply as well as USB and 400 watt power supply. And of course, Ford is known for its totally flat floor in the back but you can put this up and you see that all protected by an all weather mat. Some nice little storage underneath this back seat as well. This is the five and a half foot short box configuration. Also has the FX4 off-road package upgrade, giving you upgraded suspension, bash plates underneath, a rock crawl mode, and hill descent control. LED tail lights off the back, painted rear bumpers, which have rear park sensors in them. Vehicle also has a rear collision system. So if it senses you backing up too quickly, gonna run into a light pole, it'll put on the brakes as well. Backup camera and LED light on the tailgate. You've got your hitch, we can pull lots of different items and you've got four pin and seven pin connectors there. We go ahead and hit this button on our tailgate. That's gonna drop down for us. This has a spray in liner already installed. You've got tie down hooks, which are lockable and removable LED bed lighting and a 400 watt power inverter right in the box. On the tailgate, you do have C-channel reinforced holders on either side here. So if you're doing any kind of woodwork off the back, you can just secure that. You also have strap holders on either side of the tailgate for longer items. And from the bottom, those dual uh, double as a bottle cap opener, really nice feature. As we come to the front of the truck, it's gonna open up this driver's door. I always like to show the capacities for the pickup. So you're gonna see that right in those stickers. On the driver's door, you've got your power locks, your memory function, power folding mirrors, power windows, another one of those Bang & Olsen stereo speakers. I love the touches and finishing on the dash here. Power tailgate, lights under the mirrors, your set it and forget it headlights, fog lamp switch, cargo lamp switch, interior dimmer switches, power adjustable pedals and emergency brake. This steering wheel can be released to tilt and telescopic, so up and down and in and out, which is nice. Then you have these 10-way power adjustable heated and cooled front captain's chairs that are super comfortable. Let's climb inside. <clears throat> now that we're inside the truck, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this push button ignition, fire everything up here. Nice digital display in there showing you digital speedometer and a bunch of other readouts. On the steering wheel, we've got cruise control, a lane departure system, volume controls for our stereo and voice recognition, controls for that digital display up top and more phone controls. Another one of those Bang & Olsen center channel speakers, places to put things, a huge 12 inch screen, which is just great. Up top, you do have uh, your backup camera control where you can just turn that on even without putting it into reverse. 
four-way flashers, the hill descent control, thanks to the FX4 package, traction control, and then in this screen, it does have the new Sync 4 technology, so you can actually have this wirelessly broadcast your phone to it. And that's known as wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. All your apps from your phone come up here, your Google Maps, iMaps, anything you want for navigation, Spotify, podcasts, audiobooks, everything comes up here and looks like the apps on your phone. You've got all your audio and phone settings down below on these little icons, and if you go into the features one, one of my favorite features is zone lighting. We can turn the whole outside of the truck into a flashlight. Really great in the winter when we don't get much light. And you can just pick whichever side, whichever zone you want to LED light up. Again, awesome feature. Then down below, we've got our volume controls for our stereo, dual climate control, my side, my passenger side, our air conditioned and heated seat controls and a nice fan switch. Open this up, you got a nice cubby here with a USB and USB-C power outlet. Come down here and you've got your control for your 10 speed shifter with a manual mode and you can shift through all 10 gears right here or if we want this out of the way we can just press that button you've got places for cups and places to put things center console with the upgraded interior work surface that folds out and you can just uh you know do whatever kind of work you might need to do right from there you can open up this and you've got an upper and a lower section. This is built for hanging files, really handy. And you've got USB and USB-C hookups there. Off the side, we've got Pro Trailer Backup Assist, Trailer Brake Controller built right in, as well as uh, our four-wheel drive controls. And because this is a Larry, you not only get two high, four high, and four low, but four automatic, set it and forget it as well. Has a locking rear differential, and then some drive modes. If you look in here, we can spin this dial, and we can go from normal, to slippery, to deep snow and sand, to mud and ruts, and rock crawl, and that's thanks to the FX4 package. Or we can go the other direction. We can go from normal to tow haul to eco, and really wake up this uh, this twin turbo and go into sport mode. That even changes the exhaust note and a bunch of other things on it. Um, when we go over here, we have two glove boxes. Push this button to open the top one. We have a 12 volt power supply and another inverted 400 watt power supply that's three in total come up top you have an electrochromatic mirror it dims automatically led lights for your map lights here you have a rear slider in the back window we have a place to put our sunglasses and to finish it off garage door openers up top on the visor that is this beautiful 2022 lariat and iconic silver thank you very much for watching this video do me a huge favor click subscribe to this channel if you go ahead and hit the bell icon you will be subscribed to me for all the videos that i post up and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up thanks everyone